Can we go to code? Yes. Did you? We can start. Yes. April, please start. Yes, please start. Every new skill we learn, every adventure we go on, every new thing we try, make us a better person day after day. I strongly believe, you all strongly believe, that future belongs to those who learn more skills and combine them in creative ways. Honorable dignitaries, district leaders, my dear fellow Toastmasters, a warm good afternoon. My name is Giridhar. I am the Sergeant at Arms today. I welcome you all to the first training of District 116. Before we proceed with our training, I would like to familiarize with a few ground rules to be followed for a smooth and successful training today. Kindly keep your mobiles in silent mode. Keep your microphones on mute. However, you are free to unmute yourself if you have something to say. Ensure your camera is aligned with your posture and at an optimum distance. Kindly maintain decorum of the meeting and training by not moving around, eating or drinking when your video is on. <clears throat> Kindly refrain from speaking about sex, religion, or any other sensitive topic, and do not use any immoral or indecent words. Avoid speaking in between the training program. Finally, my best wishes and greetings to all the attendees and the trainers. Now, I would like to call upon our district director, District 116 Director, Distinguished Toastmaster, Sabina MK. She is a double DTM. She is our seventh District Director of District 116, and she is the first female District 116 Director. <clears throat> she has participated and showcased her skills as a versatile panelist in District Leaders Training at Toastmaster International Convention, Bahamas, and raised the flag of District 116. She is the Program Quality Director for 2023-24 and past District Club Growth Director who served District 116 to achieve President, President Distinguished District. She, is, she was District Administration Manager in 21-22, served as District 116 to achieve its distinguished status. Best Division Director of the Year 2020-2021 who has chartered seven new clubs and contributed in making her district to be medley distinguished district. District Toastmaster of the year 2020, 2018 and 19 contributed as pathways guide for district 20, chartered 41 new clubs with the help of her vibrant team and sponsored 97 members in Toast, for Toastmasters International. She took all seven club officers roles in TI, visited 103 clubs last year. 18 years of professional experience and currently working in Qatar Ministry project. She is a master's in bachelor and bachelor's technology, master's in computer science and engineering, lifetime member of ICC and ICBF under Indian Embassy of Qatar, president of in Institution of Engineers Women's Wing and first female excom member of Institution of Engineers India Qatar chapter. She is excom member of Engineers Australia panelist for many technical and non-technical panel discussions, motivational speaker and leader, what not, and at last, not, not the least, mother of two loving boys and wife of a lawyer. Let's welcome inspiration for all of, all of us, District Director, DTM Sabina MK, to start the session with a round of applause, please. DTM Sabina, the virtual speakers. Thank you to Usmaso Giri. That, that was a long introduction. I don't know from where you got this lengthy introduction. Okay, District Program Quality Director, Distinguished Tools Master, Alar Mail Mangai, District Club Growth Director, Sher Distinguished Tools Master, Sherwin Olimbo, Past District Director and our Parliament Jarian, District Tools Master, Rajesh VC, Trainer, Area Directors, District Leaders, Members. Warm good evening, everyone. Here, your district director connecting from the rainy months <laughs> of uh, Kerala. 
uh, that's why I, I didn't switch on the video. Uh, maybe it might interrupt the bandwidth. Learning and development is an inevitable part of human growth. That is why this believe in the continuous learning process. And our program quality director has designed a beautiful and effective training calendar, which will be announced in a week time. And this is the first training, district training. And you will be learning today, this evening, navigating pathways and roles and responsibilities of new club mentors and sponsors from the best of the best trainers, our better veteran trainers, and other than those master Nela Rizwan and distinguished toast master Rajesh VC. As our founder, Dr. Ralph V. Smedley said, what he said, we learn the best in moments of enjoyment. I request everyone to grab a cup of coffee or relax and with that passionate learning feeling, listen, actively listen and learn the best from the best trainers this afternoon. And I'm sure this is the way how a new Toastmaster year should start. The basic, the foundation. That is why the excellent series of training is starting the kickoff. With that said, I declare officially the first District 116 training is open. Let's hear a thunderous applause from every members. Now, um, as I said, I'm outside Qatar. I will not take longer. I'm afraid that is my disconnect. Here, I request everyone, if you need to take some notes, these recordings will be shared, of course, but to be active and learn, let's have a strong beginning. A well be begun is half done so that we can achieve towards our district mission. So that every members benefit from each other and from this organization which has benefited for millions of members around the world. That's why the theme of the year, hashtag inspire, influence, impact. With that said, are you ready for the training? Yes, you can mute, yes. all of you can mute. Yes. yes. <laughs> that is how it should be. We should we need an interactive training, active participation. Let's see that the program quality that here from our program quality director, distinguished toastmaster Alarmel Mangai, who is a lawyer by profession, and she is this she is going to give you an idea about what is meant by the excellent series of the trainings and how we are this evening with the kick start of the first district 116 training i request our program quality director to give us brief the agenda and give us an idea about a quick overview of uh, the future um, district trainings with that said let's hear a thunderous applause to invite our program quality director distinguished toastmaster alarmel mangai over to you pqt Thank you, thank you, District Director, for energizing the meeting as usual. And we are truly inspired by your words. Hope I'm visible, audible to everyone. Well, that's not enough from the few hands I could see from the screen. May I request everyone to please, if you are okay and comfortable, uh, Switch on your cameras. Otherwise, give me a virtual thumbs up and cheers. Here we go. Ah, that sounds great. That's District 116, always ready to act when called upon. Over that, the district director, my dear club growth director, past district director, other dignitaries on this wonderful screen and my dear fellow members of District 116, warm welcome to an afternoon full of learning. 
It's my absolute pleasure and honor to be your program quality director and design an education program that will benefit maximum number of members, not just District 116, but throughout the Toastmasters fraternity. Keeping the requirements of District 116, we have designed a program that will be called as District 116 Excellence Series, wherein we will be having continuous education modules on different topics relating to pathways, contests, speech preparations, contest rules, judges uh, training, membership growth, membership retention, you name it, you will have it. Before I dwell into the experience of learning with you all, let me remind you all simple fact, my dear friends. You teach me, I forget. You train me, I may remember. You involve me, I'll get to learn better. Well, that's not my words. It is the words of our wonderful legendary trainer and leader and philosopher, Benjamin Franklin, adopting his words. I request all of your wholehearted participation in all our trainings so that we can reap maximum from whatever we are trained to do. Today, we will be having two trainings. One will be on pathways, our heart and soul of our education program. Rather, the Toastmasters International succeeds because of the education program we have, we are having. And the second half will be on to letting members know the benefits of being a sponsor or mentor of a club, how to be a sponsor and mentor and why to be a sponsor and mentor. Both will be handled by two wonderful trainers who are, who made their marks in their respective uh, domains. Before I invite them, let me acknowledge the hard works of our host today, Toastmaster Girida, being our uh, host as well as uh, DLM in charge. Thanks a lot for rendering your services as best as always. And we have a meticulous timer today, Toastmaster Harinath Kodawala. Uh, he is the one person who is always there in every district activities to support in the best way he can always do. Toastmaster Hari, can we have you on screen and I acknowledge your services to the district. Not to forget our Q&A moderator and ever fabulous district admin manager, DM Rajini Nare. When you go through the training, as and when you get your uh, queries or anything more uh, you need information regarding the training feel free to send a, send your questions then and there to our q and a moderator today dtm rajini nare by uh, uh, message in the chat box personal message to her in the chat box you will also be given uh, an opportunity in the end of the training when we have our Q&A session. Hope it's clear to all of you, right? With all your cheers, it's now my privilege and turn to invite our first presenter for today. As I said in the beginning, both of them are the uh, masters in their respective domain, what they are gonna train us today. To add a few words about our first trainer, she is the one person I always uh, be jealous of. Oh, she is that passionate reader. Whenever I see her WhatsApp status, the books she uh, she uh, shares is something, you know, I always get awestruck. An avid reader uh, who has been in Toastmasters fraternity since 2019. She was the best area director of the year 2023. Uh, 2022 23 and currently will be your pathways manager as well as OSS advanced president 
and she was the past division F director with a lot of enthusiasm and cheers. She served the fraternity in a wider way than I could ever explain. Put your cheerful virtual hands together to welcome our first presenter for today, DTM Naila Rizwan. With all your cheers, over to you, Naila. Thank you. Thank you so much, PQD, for that. One more correction, I'm not yet a DTM. I know people are waiting for me to be, but <laughs> inshallah, I'll be soon. So, as of now, Toastmaster Naila Raswan, thank you so much for your wonderful introduction. Good afternoon, everyone. As our PQD said, can I also see a thumbs up, please? So, just so that I know all of you are here listening to me. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Uh, whenever a trainer or a presenter comes in, it keeps us motivated to see that, you know, you, know, you all are listening to us or you, know, you all are there. That's what keeps us motivated to do much better job. So thank you for this. Now, today I will be talking about, or I will be taking you through the pathways, which is the basic of any Toastmasters journey. So here, uh, if you have, as already mentioned, if you, whenever you have any questions, please note it down and you can send it through a direct uh, message on the Zoom chat to our Q&A moderator, Distinguished Toastmaster, Rechni Narin, and we will be taking it uh, towards the end of the session. Uh, now, today I will not be um, taking you through any presentation. Uh, I don't have any PPT. I will be just taking you through the Toastmasters website because whatever you need, it's all there. And the reason why I'm not using a PPT is that if you know where to find all this on the website itself, at any point, you don't need to go back and ask, where's this PPT? Can I get this? No, you just directly go to the TI website and you will be able to find any information you need. So my objective here is to show you where to find what, so that even if you don't know things by heart, you know where to find it, okay? And even, with, so I will just share the screen and uh, what is that? Yes, uh, I hope my screen is visible to everyone. Yeah, thank you. Now, before going to the pathways part itself, I know we have a few members uh, who are very new to Toastmasters and have probably never uh, even logged in to, uh, till now. Okay, so I will just take you through that part before going into the pathways part. So if you're a new member who has just uh, you know, received that welcome email from the Toastmasters and you don't know how to log in or anything about it, first step, is go to the website toastmasters.org and you will find the login link over here. Okay. And here, if you are, of course, if you are, if you have been logging in uh, previously, you can directly give your email ID, password, and uh, you can log in. If you're doing it for the first time, you will, when you scroll down, you will see this first time logging in and create a password link. And if you click on that, it will ask you for your registered email ID. Here, here, what you need to be careful about is that you have to give the email ID with which you have registered in Toastmasters. If you give any other email ID and click, it will tell you they cannot find the email in their records. So ensure you are giving the right email ID. You can click on this and you will receive an email with a verification code and with which you can uh, you know, create your password. And it's a very simple step. You can create your password in this manner. Okay, so I hope this is clear. Now, once you have created the password, or you can come back here to the login screen, give your registered email ID, your password, and log in. Now, after logging in, since now from here, I will be taking you to the pathways part. Now, once you log in, the screen you will see uh, on top itself, you will have a few links. Uh, like resources, the education part, the membership part. In this, here you can see the education programs. Okay, so he, this is where all the information related to Pathways is available. Now, once you click on this education programs, so you will see here uh, there's an overview about what Pathways is. Take your time, read through it, 
it will tell you explain exactly how pathways is going to help you in your development okay so just go through this take your time and read through it and you can click on here in pathways now this is where you will find the different pathways available to you Oh, again, it's again a uh, more description about the pathways and the sorry. yeah the different languages it is available in. So all of that is mentioned here. And here, if you go to paths and projects, this is where the different paths available are present. So as of now, TI has 11 paths uh, available from which we can choose. And all the 11 paths are present over here. You can go through them uh, one by one. So, so you get an idea which path helps you in what area. So suppose uh, if you're going with leadership development, here you will see an explanation is given on which area this path focuses on. Uh, so you can see it focuses on learning how to manage time as well as how to develop and implement a plan or public speaking and leading a term, uh, team are also emphasized. So it explains in a two to three sentences what the path is about and it shows you the different levels. So regardless of which path you choose, every path has five levels. Every path has five levels in which the first level is about mastering the fundamentals. Second is about learning your style. Third is about increasing knowledge. Fourth level about uh, building your skills. And fifth is about the expertise. So by then you become an expert in this path. So this, this remains the same in all the path. Just your projects will differ. So again, your level one projects will be the same in all the paths. Level two, a little bit of difference will be there. From level three, all your projects will be specific to the path you have chosen because this is where you are developing those particular skills. So go through this. You can go through this for every path so that you can take a decision on which path you want to go ahead with. Now, the other thing is, uh, here you will see elective projects. So level three has one mandatory project speech that you need to give and two electives, which you need to do. So you have an option of various electives. From this, you can choose any two. Similarly, in level four, you have to do one elective and the same way in level five, one elective. So this again remains the same. In, I mean, the number of electives remain the same in all the parts, just that these projects may differ. So go through it and you should be able to uh, get a brief idea on the various paths. Okay, so I will just show you one more. So this is what we went through, leadership development. So we go to strategic relationships. Uh, once again, you will see it shows five paths. So here you will see the uh, level two, there's a small difference. From level three onwards, everything is uh, different. Uh, the projects are specific and again you have the same number of electives but uh, you know the projects some of them are same some of them are different and you can choose from this okay so this is where you get an overview of the entire path so i will just say once more once you log in you will see on top education programs once you see education programs you will see pathways uh, here in this you click on pathways once you click on pathways you have paths and projects so that is the page that we are in, which gives you an overview of all the things. Now, how do you choose a path? So next, what I will be focusing on is, now we have seen what are the different paths available. So now you need to choose a path, right? So now here, once you scroll down, you will see the option, choose a path. So you can click on that, and this will take you to this page. So this is where you have to uh, you can decide which path you want to go ahead with. It's very simple. Uh, first, of, the, of course, choose which language you want to go ahead with. So English. Uh, so as of now, uh, we have only, I, I think before there used to be, they used to e, uh, send as post uh, the physical uh, materials, but now we have the digital resources. So you can click on that. Now, there are two ways you can choose the path. One, the first option is you can view all the paths, which I just now showed you. It will again show you here. All the 11 paths will be seen. You can read through it, go through it to understand, and then you can choose which one you want to go ahead with. So that's the first option, right? The second option is an assessment. So if you go ahead with this, 
TI, the website will prompt you with a series of questions to understand what it is that you are looking for. And based on the answers that you provide, the website itself will recommend three paths. Out of the 11, three will be recommended to you from which you can choose. Okay, so I will show you both options. So suppose you're going ahead with the first option where you want to see all the different paths. Click on it and click on continue. So once again, it will show you all the 11 paths that are available. And if you need to learn more, you can click on this, learn more about the visionary communication path. So again, it will show you, you know, uh, and give you an idea about what the path is. If you just open this view, all projects in this path, it will take you back to the page, which I just showed you some time back. It shows you all the projects available in that path. Right? So the first option, you can go through all these paths. Say, suppose you want to go ahead with effective coaching, click on it, choose, and you can come down and click on continue. And this is how you can choose your path. Now, suppose you do not, you know, you get confused. Like there are 11 paths. So how it takes a lot of time to go through everything and then take that decision. Here, the best option, and this is something I would also suggest, is to take the assessment. If you click on this, choose take the assessment and click on continue. Or uh, again, you choose your language and it prompts you with a lot of questions. So first one is select three topics that you're interested in learning about from the list below. So a list is given. You can choose three of which, which you are interested in, which you feel will help in your development. So let's say I choose public speaking, uh, leadership and motivating others. So these are the three topics which I am interested in going ahead with. And then click on next. So here you can see the progress bar on top. So a lot of questions will come. So I will just go through it fast. I'm not going to read all the questions. Uh, you can take your time, go through, read all the questions, understand and choose what you want to go ahead with. Okay. So I'm right now I'm just choosing it randomly so that uh, we... Uh, go you know, go through this uh, part quickly. Okay, so these are all the different questions that come in. Seek out leadership opportunities. So if you're not sure, give the unsure option. Uh, comfortable with using humor. Uh, we can easily relate. Okay. Either, uh, so there are five options. Strongly disagree, disagree unsure, agree, and strongly agree. So based on your thoughts, like this is about yourself. So what you feel this uh, uh, this particular sentence applies to you, click on that option and go ahead. So we are halfway through, almost. Okay, so let me just go through this quickly. Once again, take your time. I'm just going through this quickly. So please take your time when you're uh, doing this because it's based on your answers that uh, the website will be giving you the recommendation of the paths that you can go ahead with, all right? Okay, so we are coming towards the end. So that's, so now I have gone through all the questions that have come up. Now, based on the answers that I have given, you can see recommended is mentioned on top. So these three paths have been recommended to me by the website. So based on my answers, the, the TI feels these are the parts that is going to help me in my uh, development. Okay, so I can, again, once again, from these three, I can, uh, let's say I decide to go ahead with leadership development. So you can choose. Now, you feel, you know, even though the TI has given this recommendation, now it can happen that you feel, no, these three would not help, help you. You can still scroll down and choose from any of the other uh, eight parts that are given below. 
Okay, so it is not mandatory that you need to choose any one of these recommended paths itself. If you feel you, you know, this is something that will uh, help you better, of course, go ahead and you can choose from this. All right. So once you choose this again, you can scroll down and click on continue. So I hope you're clear on this. That is, there are two ways you can choose the path. One is go through all the different 11 paths and you can decide by yourself which path to go ahead with. Second option is to take the assessment, go through the different questions uh, that will be prompted. And based on your answers, the website will give you three recommendations. You can either choose from those three recommended any one path, or you can choose from the other uh, eight paths also. It's up to you. Okay. Now, once you confirm, uh, it will just ask you to reconfirm that this is the path you have chosen. If you feel, uh, no, no, not this, you can, of course, click on the go back option and uh, choose another path. So I'm deciding to go ahead with presentation master itself. You can click on continue. Now here, you will see a payment information. So here, uh, let me just explain. Uh, if you have uh, joined Toastmasters for the first time, for the, the first path for every member is free. So you will not be asked for this payment information if you are a new Toastmaster and opting for your first path. Your first path is completely free. Don't worry, you don't need to make any kind of payment. But after your first path, you need to pay $20. So you will see the $20 option here. Give your card number, all the details, and you can click on submit payment. And the path will be uh, given to you. You will get access to the path. Okay, so once more, if you are a new member, the first path will be free. The payment option, this screen will not come for you. But every subsequent path, you will be charged 20 US dollars. Okay, so I hope this is clear. This is how... You go through the different uh, paths, see what is available in each of the path and how to choose a path. Okay, so this brings us uh, towards the end of that first segment regarding choosing your pathway. Now, this is very important. If you, uh, if you have not yet chosen a path, Please ensure you choose your path within, I hope you do it today itself, but at least within the next one or two days, uh, because you cannot until you have access to the path, because it's, so I will show this to you why this is important. Okay, so let's go ahead to that. Now, you have chosen the path. How do you access it? How do you go through the, I have shown you, right? There are five levels, there are different projects in each of the level. So how do you access that? Okay, so now I'll just go back to the first screen itself. Now, when you log in, this is the screen that will come for you. So, this, so as soon as you log in, this is your home screen. I, when you scroll down, the first option itself that you will see is go to Basecamp. And Basecamp is where you will have access to the path you have chosen. So you can click on this, go to Basecamp, this will take you to a screen uh, which shows you if you are a member, if you are a member only in one club, uh, I think it will go directly or you will see the club name here. So now I am a member in three different clubs. So which is why all the club names are coming here and I can choose which club where I'm going to give the speech or which club I want to give my uh, level completion credit to. Okay, so we will come to this. So I will go ahead with that. So let's say I go ahead with the, the OASIS advanced uh, option. So when I click on the club name, it will take me to the base camp. Here, this is where all the options are available. So again, you can see there's a video here which gives you, shows you how to go through the you know, different projects. Now, in case uh, if you're doing this for the first time, I would suggest you to watch this video also. It will help you to, uh, again, this is something what I'm showing you right now. Still, if you want to see it again, this is another place where you can come and watch the video to understand. Okay. Now here, when you scroll down, you will see the paths and learning option. And here, so right now, my path uh, that I'm currently going through is motivational strategies. 
So you will see, suppose you have chosen that presentation master, you will see the presentation master option here and you, you can click on open uh, curriculum. Okay. Now, once you click on open curriculum, this will give you or this will take you to the screen with all the different levels. So as mentioned, you can see there are lev five levels with, along with a path completion uh, speech. And in each level, you can see level one, we have this one, two, three, four, four projects. Okay, so, and if you click on level two, you can see there are three projects. So in this manner, you can go through all the levels. And in level three, uh, we have seen there's an elective, right? So you will see there's a, a one mandatory project and then there's an elective. So if you click on this, it will give you all those electives that are present and you can choose from here. Now, how do you know how many, how many of this you need to do? You can see here minimum required. So here you can see two, which means out of these 14 projects available, you can choose any two and complete it. As soon as you have the two completed, this percentage will be 100% done. So you will see all these tick marks. The tick mark means those are the levels or those are the projects which have been completed. So how do you know whether whatever you have done on the base camp is right? It's when you see the tick mark. So you can see I have completed my level one and I have completed my level two. Okay, So this that's where the tick mark and I have to start with my level three. Now, I will take you through this part also, how you go through these projects. So if you're coming here for the first time, uh, it's not launched that you will see. Let me just go here, something I have not done. Yes, the first thing you will see is activate. So you have to click on activate and then the launch option will come. Okay, so I will go back to this and I will show you. So launch option uh, comes in, you can click on it. And this will take you to the uh, the project details. Now, uh, most of the time, what I usually hear from someone new is, how do I know what speech to give? What topic to give the speech on? It's, a, it's something even I have struggled with when uh, I was very new in Toastmasters. I was not sure, how do I decide the topic of my speech? How do I write my speech? This is what will help you first. And second is your mentor. Okay, so this is the first step. Even before you go to your mentor, this is the first step that you need to do. If you read through the entire thing, just go to the starting itself. I was showing this to you. Okay. This is the first screen that you will get. Okay, so you will see there are uh, the left and right side, the arrows. This will help you to navigate through the various slides in this project. When you open this, make sure you have enough time to spend and go read and go through the entire project. If you go through this and read it completely, by the time you reach towards the end of this, you will know how your speech has to come. 50% of your speech idea will be there by the time you complete this. Then only the rest you need to spend some time to think on it. And I would say maybe for some people, uh, I've heard even it helps them up to 75% to have their speech done by the time they complete, uh, go through this project details. Okay. So can click on this, the ad, uh, by the way, there are videos. Make sure you play all the videos that come in because it all gives you uh, an idea about what that project is, how this project helps you, the different you know, points, everything is there. So that's why I said, when you come here, make sure you don't come here when you're in a hurry and you just want to you know, have a look. Sp spend some time to go through this. So watch these videos. You can click on the next arrow. So it gives you all these things. You can click on this. So uh, since this is the first project, it also uh, tells you how to go through this. So I've chosen the icebreaker part, right? So that's why it's explaining how to go through these slides also. Okay, so click on this, gives you an introduction. So this is the icebreaker part. It uh, explains what this is, uh, getting started, what kind of skills you can build from this. So spend. I'm just clicking and going through, but spend your time on this. Now, this is the purpose of your project. That is just to introduce yourself to the club and learn the basic structure of a public speech. So this is what you aim to achieve through your speech. Okay. 
can click. Uh, yeah. Now, this is very important. Uh, to, for any project, when you go through, you will find this. Assess your skills before. Please don't click on this and move ahead to the next slide. You have to go through this uh, similar to, you know, that questions were prompted, right, when you were choosing the path. Similar to that, this is specific to this project. So all these questions based on like, I feel relaxed when giving a speech. So one is like, no, I'm not at all relaxed. Maybe a little bit, two, three is average. Four is yes, I am, I am relaxed. And five, yes, I'm very much relaxed. So it goes in that order. Choose what applies to you and click on this next. When you click on the next, the next uh, you know, question or the sentence comes in. So again, choose, go through the entire thing one by one by and choose uh, which applies to you and the last one you will since i've already done this it's not coming but you will get a submit uh, option here and you can submit it only once you submit this entire thing after that only please click on this so it's a mistake i have done the first time you now sometimes we see this we feel it's not relevant we don't go through it and then we just click on next so this uh, the effect of this I will explain in the coming slides. Okay, so make sure you go through each one of these and select the options. Go to the next slide. Uh, again, read through it. What are the different competencies you learn uh, by doing this project? Uh, it has a lot of information. You're planning your speech, looking ahead, uh, your goals. Again, there's a video on the icebreaker. You can watch it. Uh, then, um, uh, yeah you will see these kind of things in majority of the projects. So if you look at this, click on it, it has a series of questions, which if you answer, most of your speech will be done. Okay, so if you just see this, uh, it's, it's an icebreaker speech project, which is introducing yourself. So even if you don't know what your title is going to be, go through this list, four, two to four things about yourself that you want your fellow club members to know. Write down four things about yourself you want to uh, tell your members. Why you have joined Toastmasters? Put your reasons here. Or do you have any goals that you want to achieve through here? If, so you can go through these questions and uh, no, write down. No need to write down as complete sentences. Just put in points. And once you put in all these points, by the end of this, your speech will be more than half done. After this, it would just be about developing it into complete sentences and developing it into a proper speech. So when you see this kind of, uh, you know, documents or PDFs, please make use of it. It will help you a lot in preparing your speeches. Okay. Next, again, you can go read, go through this entire thing, spend your time, go through it. Okay. Uh, my screen is stuck okay give me some time yeah uh so it's same thing just go through huh? nothing much is the you click on the right side arrow go through each of the screens and uh it will take you until uh see, see each of this make sure you click on each uh because it gives you more information on those points click on the next uh again it's about how you can speak to your evaluator if they are in present up to your speech, how uh, you know how the speech is going to help you. Those parts, all this, I'm just uh, going to click through. Okay, evaluating, review and apply. Now every project, you will be going through this completely until you reach this screen. So this, you will find the screen in every project. So before you give your speech, you have to read, go through until you reach the screen, your evaluation. And you should stop here. You will see here evaluation resource. If you click on this, this is the evaluation form that you need to give to your evaluator. Now, sometimes when you're giving your speech, your the club VPE might come and ask you, can you please send me across your evaluation form? I need to give it to your evaluator. Sometimes uh, I know, you know, we are stuck. Like, where do I find the evaluation form from? 
And we are not sure. So this is where you find your evaluation form. In every project, you will see this, your evaluation, and you will see the evaluation resource. Click on it, and here you see the evaluation form. And this, download this PDF and send it to your VPE, or you can send it directly to your evaluator. And this is the form your evaluator will make use of to evaluate your speech. Okay, so this is where you get the evaluation form. Next is there's something called print my project. Now, sometimes when you uh, have gone through all this, you speak to your mentor, you ask for the help from your mentor and your mentor will ask, can you please send across your uh, project details or the project PDF? So sometimes, again, we don't, obviously your mentor is not going to you know, access come through here and your mentor might have chosen some other path and they don't have this particular project. So they will not be able to log into yours and go through this, right? So this is where all the details, whatever we went through right now, everything is there as a PDF format. You can download this and send across to whoever is helping you with your speech, your mentor, and they can go through this to understand what exactly the, is the project about. Then when your mentor goes through your speech, they will be able to better help you to tell you whether your speech is meeting those objectives or not, or whether you need to make some kind of changes in your speech to be, for it to be more effective. Okay, so this page is very important. You get the evaluation form and you get the entire project details as a PDF format here. So before you give your speech, you come till here and that's it. Please don't move forward after this. So once you come here, get your evaluation form, all the project details, everything is done. Go have your slot booked in the club meeting, present your speech. Once your speech is given, you once again come back to your uh, base cap. You once again come here, you once again click on launch, and then you will be coming back to this screen. So this is after you give the speech. So once after you give the speech, then you go ahead after this. Okay, so then you will see again uh, about when you complete, since this is the icebreaker one, it gives you the video on once you complete how to do, you can watch this. It's exactly what I'm explaining to you right now. And uh, you will then you will see similar to what you saw before, assess your skills before, there's something called assess your skills after. Okay, so since I've already done this, it's coming like this. But you will have similar to what you saw before, the same questions. Same questions will come. Like I think the first question was, I feel relaxed while giving my speech. So before you gave your speech, maybe you chose two or three. Now, after you give your speech, do you, you know, feel more relaxed than how you were before? Same question, same numbering, choose. Right? So you can see uh, before I had given it a three and after I gave my speech, I feel a little bit more comfortable giving uh, presenting my speeches. So I've given four. So this two, go through and submit it. And then it will give you this uh, feedback, like how what I felt before and what I felt after, right? And then again, uh, please read it. Even though you have completed your project, please read through this. It will help you. And finally, congratulations. So this means you have completed your particular project, right? And once you close this, this screen will automatically refresh itself and a tick mark should come here. So if you have reached the final screen, you close it, the screen will automatically refresh and a tick mark will come. If you see that the tick has not come, that means you have missed some one of the steps in between. So this is where I mentioned those uh, assess your skills before, assess your skills after. If you don't go through that, all the parts in that and submit it, this tick is not going to come. So that most probably that would be the step you would have missed. So if the tick has not come, once again launch, go through it, make sure those are done and come back and the tick will be there. Okay, so this tick is what is going to help you to understand whether everything is done properly or not. Uh, next, now you have completed one project. You have completed all the projects in your levels, right? And that is when this will get activated. So if I just go to my, uh, let's say, level four, you will see it's, it's like this. Since I have not done any of this, this is not activated. 
Now, once I complete this and I complete this, then this gets activated. Once it's activated, you can click on it. Uh, I think the first option that would come is again, launch, launch it, and uh, it will uh, show you the details. And then you need to submit. Now, when you submit, uh, here the status will come as pending approval or submitted for approval. It's one of those. Okay. That means from your side, everything is done. So make sure the status comes pending approval. Here, this means everything from your side is done. Next step is to be done by your club VPE to approve your level completion. Okay. So once as a member, this is what you need to do. Once the completion is uh, level completion is approved, then you will see the status as completed and it will show 100% here in level one also. And you will be able to see this uh, certificate. Thank you. you might not be able to see. I will just... Yeah, so this certificate will come uh, to you. Say, uh, you know, it tells you that you have uh, completed your level one. It shows you on what date it was approved and given to you, uh, which level, which path, everything is there. Okay. So once the approval is done, only after that you will be able to see this. Right. So as a member, this is what you need to do. So now, so this brings us to the end of that second part, the base camp part, going through the different projects, how you go through, how you, uh, you know, prepare for your speeches, how to find the event evaluation form, how to find the uh, entire project details in a PDF file, okay? Now, after this, it is the role of the club uh, VPE or Basecamp, we say Basecamp manager. So Basecamp manager is uh, the club president, club VPE, and the club secretary. These three club officers have uh, access to approve any of the club members' level completions. So next, I will be showing that how you do this. So let me just go back to the home screen itself. So if you are the club president or if you are the club VP or the club secretary, and if you are asked to, uh, you know, the one member comes and tells you, you know, I have completed my level, please approve it. So how do you do that as the club officer or the, as the, uh, these three roles, they are called base camp manager. So you saw go to base camp, right? Similarly, if you are any of these roles, you will have uh, an additional access. Same place, click on go to base camp. Here, you can just scroll down. So here, if you scroll down, you will see, the choose the club you want to interact with as a base camp manager. So here, out of these three clubs, only in this club, I am the president. So I have only that club's base camp manager access. So you can click on this. And it's very straightforward. You will see pending request. Okay, you can click on pending request. If any of the members have submitted their level completion, it will come up over here. So right now I don't have any com uh, level completions, but it will come up here, the person's, the member's name and uh, type, date, everything. And you will have the option here to approve and deny. Okay, both the options will be there. So uh, one thing you need to be careful about is uh, sometimes what happens, the members by mistake submit it. You know, when they are members of multiple clubs, they submit the level completion uh, to another club. Like let's say the member is a, uh, you know, part of club one and club two. By They wanted to give the level completion to club one, but by mistake, they submitted for club two. So check with the member if you're sure that level completion is coming to your club, you can click on approve. Otherwise, if you click on deny, it just means the member has to submit for uh, approval once more. That's it. Okay. So you can click on approve and, and uh, I think one more screen will come. It will ask you to again approve and that's it. It's very simple. So as the, usually it's the VPE who does this. So as Basecamp manager, you can go to Basecamp, scroll down, you will see Basecamp manager access, click on the club name, you will see pending request, click on pending request, and that will take you to this screen and you can approve it. Now, another thing uh, you need to know is you cannot approve your own level completions. So that means if you are the club VPE, 
you have completed your uh, level, you go through, you know, you have submitted it for approval, it will not show up over here. So either the president or the secretary has to uh, approve your level completion. So which is why three of the club officers have access. So president cannot approve, uh, like if I'm the president, I cannot approve my own level completion. Either the VPE or the secretary has to do. Okay? So this is something you need to keep in mind. Now, there's one more thing. Uh, that is, usually people do all this. Then they go to the DI dashboard, or you know, and they see it has not reflected over there. They, uh, they say, you know, in my club, uh, four members have completed level one. I have done all approvals. Everything is done, but I the club does not have that DCP. Why the club has not received the DCP? So it's a very common question that usually comes. So for this, as the club VPEs and presidents do, you should be aware of this. There are two steps you need to do. One is what I've just shown you right now in Basecamp Manager, come here and approve the request. That's the first step. Second step, uh, if I just, uh, let me just go back to the home screen. Okay. Second step is in Club Central. So here in the home screen itself, if you scroll down a little bit more, you will see there's a Club Central access. So Club Central access is available for every Club XCOM member. You can click on this and uh, here again, click on which club. So you can see I'm a member of three clubs, but I have Club Central access only in two of the clubs because I'm an XCOM member only in these two clubs. That's why uh, you can click on the club name and the first option itself submit education awards you need to click on this and submit it over here here all, all the members names will come up okay so you can go through it select whose uh, level completion you need to approve so let's say it was master gilda she is a member in the club so i just choose her name and then I will see which all levels you know, uh, have not been claimed yet. So she's currently doing three parts, in uh, which one of it may be currently going through the second level, the other two parts level four. So I can choose which I want and then go ahead uh, with the review and submission. So I'm not clicking it. Uh, I don't want to claim it right now. So if you click on review award submission, it will once again ask you to reconfirm and then submit it. Okay. So the only once you do this, it will reflect on the dashboard and the club gets the DCP. So as the club president VPE especially, remember there are two things you need to do. First is in Basecamp Manager, you need to approve the request. Second is in Club Central, come here, the Club Central Submit Education Award, which will take you to the screen, choose which member, which level and submit. Once you do both of these steps, uh, as the club VPE, your job is done. Once all this is done, that view certificate option for the member comes in and uh, everything will be right. Okay, so I hope all of this is clear. And uh, there's one more small thing I will show you before I wind up. Uh, that is, uh, I'm sure majority of you must have heard that uh, TI is going to revamp this entire base camp part, the, you know, the pathways, uh, it's going to come up with new options. So here you will see there is something called, uh, let's go back. One minute, yes, education programs. If you go to the pathways itself, there's an update on uh, pathways. Okay, so uh, again, you can just, I'm just going to show you what it is. You can read through it, pathways updates. So here, uh, sometime this year, hopefully this will come up. Once the change comes in, uh, as of now, we have 11 paths. You can see, uh, then we will have only these six paths. They will be making a lot of changes to the kind of projects that come in each of these paths. Everything is going to be uh, revamped and done in a better manner. Uh, but instead of 11, we will be having only these six parts. Now, if example, I think our leadership development is not here. So if you have gone ahead, no, if you are currently doing leadership development and then this change comes in, 
don't worry it's not going to affect you you will still have access to your path everything as it is and and there's no time limit huh? i think someone asked me this there's no time limit you can take your time to complete your path it will be available to you until you complete it the only thing is once this change comes in when you go for choosing a path only this these six paths will be available that's the only thing and uh, rest you can just read through it it's a all the information is here you can take your time okay so today uh, just recap we have uh, gone through if you are logging in for the first time uh, how you set your password the overview how where do you find the details of the 11 paths available how to choose the path uh, then how do you access those path and go through the different projects how do you submit or uh, your level completion for approval if you are the base camp manager how do you approve the request in uh, base camp manager and in club central how do you submit the education award uh, and the pathways updates okay, so i hope uh, everything is clear to everyone and uh, in case uh, whatever questions you have please put it in the chat and our q and a moderator will be taking it uh, and if you have come up with any questions after this meeting you can always get in touch with me uh, i hope you have my contact number i'll put it in the chat if you i'll put in my email also if you have any questions later any doubts please don't hesitate you can right now i'm in india so please don't call for the next one month for one month please send me a whatsapp message or an email after august you can give me a direct call right so thank you so much for being a wonderful audience and uh, thank you pqd for giving me this opportunity and uh, i hope the session was useful for everyone back to you uh, dita mangal wow wow can we have loud round of cheers for well that was not slip of the tongue uh, dtm naila i called you for a purpose i'm sure my audience will also agree with me if i call you with that wonderful well deserved title soon to be uh, acquired wishing you all good luck uh, one thing like what made me to call you in that way i want to share with the audience also Uh, when we had the discussion about this uh, module honestly you know i have done this module quite a number of time i i i i've lost even count i've done it that much times so i shared my present i wanted to share it with uh, naila and these are the things i wanted to share but she came up with a different idea telling me that i'm going to do it this way mangai i was so skeptical naila are you sure you are in india you want to run through the Uh, a module with all live do you think it will work out have some backup uh, uh, slides <laughs> she was so confident you know that's what make things go different and go it in way it was absolute um, delight listening to you i'm sure our members would have taken the birds eye view of whatever you have explained well uh, dear members it's not gonna end here it's just the beginning we will be having our follow up sessions in the upcoming days and you will be given with a detailed district uh, training module calendar soon to be released in the next week since we didn't want to prolong the training until we release the calendar we thought we will directly dive into learning sessions thank you so much uh, naila for that well explained module uh, we truly acknowledge your time and efforts put in to explain our members and your guarantee that you will be there as a standby for the district to follow up with whatever queries coming up from pathways we are all there as one team to serve you dear members please stay connected and one more um, kind reminder to all the members here make sure that you spread in the good news whatever you have learned with your members and make sure that they all get the benefits of what we want them to reap from to smartest international when a member signs up without taking the benefits it's a loss for everyone so we want to make sure that 
This term, every member completes at least one level in pathways. Can I have that assurance from all the members here on the screen with your virtual cheers, please? And not only that, I want it to happen in action. Let us support all of our members to achieve maximum so that we all grow together. Having said that, it's now time for me to call upon a person whom we all know very well. He is known for his go-to help, being that wonderful servant leader of District 116. To, today, he will be explaining us on the responsibilities of sponsor and mentor. For this module, I can't think of a person better than him because he has been instrumental in chartering maximum number of clubs in District 116. And not just that, my first go-to person, wherever and whenever I'm in the making of a new club, to add on to his uh, professional, uh, uh, I mean, pro professional profile, he is a postgraduate in project management and human resources. Three is something, you know, I think his favorite number. He has done three diplomas, one in electronics and communications and information technology and data communication and security, cyber security. He's an entrepreneur, certified trainer, as well as founder and managing director of Hilltop General Contracting. He's also the CEO and uh, co-founder of Global B2B Network. Well, he's a triple <laughs> DTM in town. And none other than, with, our, with acknowledging all your wonderful graces, it is our own past district director who has held the leader, leadership positions right from the club to the district level and one go-to person for all of us when it comes to volunteering to any meeting. I see him, I see him put up his hands first to be there to support all of our members. With all your cheers, let us welcome Distinguished Toastmaster, triple time Distinguished Toastmaster, DTM Rajesh VC. The virtual screener is all yours. Sir. Thank you. So much program quality director, distinguished Toastmaster Alarmal Mangai for that nice introduction. Fellow Toastmasters, leaders, good evening. You're all with me. Yes. Can I see you all? I have a presentation, but I don't want to speak with the presentation with you now. I'm good evening, Rajesh VC. Did he have? Good I'm evening. seeing Nila's presentation live. What is there in uh, a presentation which is not live, right? Let's all be live now. Right? Yes. Thank you so much, sir. We'll be speaking about something about club sponsors and mentors. Now, how many of you are hearing this for the first time? If you're hearing, hearing this, please say, yeah. Ben said you're hearing this for the first time. Great. Anybody else? Who is hearing this for the first time? Yeah, great. Yes. Mayana, sir. Great, 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 great. Superb. I also heard it for the first time in 2014. The purpose of this today's presentation is all about understanding what is the role and what are the roles and responsibilities of club sponsors and mentors. The first thing is, what is a club sponsor and mentor? Those who know, please type in ch chat box, what do you understand by the word club sponsor? Those who know, what do you understand by, or if you want to open up, please uh, mute, unmute and speak. Somebody wants to share, what do you understand by club sponsor and mentor?
Nobody a knows. Club sp- a club yeah. sponsor is a person hmm. who will help uh, in chartering a new club by helping to uh, register the documents which we need to send it to Postmasters International. Okay. And mentor is the person who will help the new club and help all the members to uh, take up all the levels to do their new roles and everything. Superb. Amazing. Mentor. Anybody else want to share something? Other than this, huh? can we have a round of applause to Ajaya? She is the one who replied. Right, Ajaya? Yes, sir. See, I can recognize the voice of just like 116. <laughs> so, anybody, anybody wants to share something? So I'm Bhavya. Uh, I feel that uh, club mentors are person who are like uh, who serve as advisors and tutors for the new members. Can you see the series? Yes, thank you. We'll follow certain kind of ground rules. Please participate. How do you participate? Either by showing thumbs up or some reaction or reply on the chat box. Note down questions. If you have any questions, please note it down. No need to take notes. I'll send you these presentations and all those things once I complete this presentation. If you have any urgent question, you feel that I cannot stop asking you, please ask. Okay. Please switch on your video as much as possible. Okay. Our agenda for this, today's discussion will be who are sponsors and mentors? Who can be sponsors and mentors? Benefits for sponsors and mentors? Who appoints? What are the exact roles and responsibilities? What are the recognitions you get by performing this role? And finally, we'll end with when we speak about club sponsors and mentors, when we say sponsor, as Ajay told, it is the same thing. Mentors, when people have such a mentor means guiding a club, mentoring members, it is not that. Here we are specifically speaking about a new club. An existing club will never have a mentor. They can have advisor or whatever it is, but they will never have a mentor. Only a new club will have club sponsors and mentors. So let's see who is a sponsor. Then who identifies that is called a sponsor. You're all with me? If you are with me, please type in chat box. Yes, no, something. Oh, superb. Rajini is showing thumbs up. Yes, thank you so much. Oh, superb. How should be, he should be aware about the reasons for forming a new club. How do you found an Otherwise, if it is one person, you can send them to any club. Why should you form a new club? A sponsor should identify those things. A group of people who are interested.
250 plus members that is what postmaster says but we have an experience we have experience that we are we have formed corporate class for 100 employees also which has been sustained for many years and non profit organizations this is what when we say who is a sponsor now when we speak about who is a mentor mentor is a person who share their exp expertise and knowledge with one or more people who has less less experience a person who want to share important a club mentor should be well aware about club meeting procedures club meeting roles club leadership roles know how to manage a club organize conduct the meetings it should be a resource person for that group of people a mentor is a person who takes care of those 20 number of people come together and lead them teach them how a club functions this is exactly what a mentor is supposed to have now if i ask you who is the sponsor now you can type in the chat box who is the sponsor let's see what people yes if anybody wants to open up open the mic and speak please do so host unmute everybody ha huh? who identifies a new sir keshavraj very good who identifies a new club amazing anybody else who finds opportunity for me samir yeah. amazing superb now let's see who is a mentor let's say uh, listen from many not listen let's read what people write who is a mentor yes wow well, please come i'm here yeah prabhu yes i'm here yeah yeah please go ahead okay that's nice presentation but uh, you know now this is the vismo uh, and other lot of uh, new updated so we have to need much more better presentation like uh, on the um, updated uh, powerpoint this is any what is more like this who is a mentor that was a question oh okay okay who yeah. is the mentor did you understand the previous thing what i spoke about who is a mentor no mentor oh. yes okay hmm. who guide who is the leader hmm. yes okay. who is the leader right, right, who right. who deals all things superb there are many people who responded to it thank you so much let us move on to the next thing again now who can be a sp sponsor right if you know who how uh, what is a sponsor and what is a mentor now who can be a sponsor anybody can be a sponsor only thing is a member in good standing any member of toastmasters international can be a sponsor what are the skills which he requires is person with good, good networking skill influencing skill commit in the process club formation is not a one day process it will take around 2 to 3 months time to form a club so you should uh, commit in that process commit till the club is chartered and for the next he should be a good standing member a commit for 6 months should attend club meetings regularly know how to manage clubs 
knowledge about club rules, knowledge about leadership rules. You should be a resource person. Commit till the end, till the club is started, and manage it for six months. This is what exactly the role is. Now, how many of you wanted to be a sponsor and mentor this year? Me to Pooja Malhotra want to be. Yes, I want to become Ajay. Yeah, superb. Yes. Keshav Raj, very good. Professor Ment. Okay. Okay. Superb. Nice. Now let me ask you. Who can be a sponsor? Type in the chat box. What do you think by listening to the previous slide? Who can be a sponsor now? All of us in this room can be a sponsor, right? And all of us in this room can be a mentor. Only thing is we need to commit ourselves to become a sponsor as well as mentor. The main thing for to be a mentor is we should know about the club functioning. Yes, can... Yes, good standing member, superb. Any paid member can be a sponsor, amazing. Yeah, we all can be. Wow, superb. Anybody can be a sponsor. Where they find a group of people, amazing. Ah, Ali Khan, so, amazing, amazing. Anyone, but should have good networking skills. Good. Shivani Dubey, amazing, superb. You are such a wonderful audience. Huh? Now let's move on to the next. Now what's in it for you, right? Anything what we do in Toastmasters is for us to improve. And the second, it should, and the byproduct of our improvement should be the improvement of organization. That is what we be in Toastmasters. So being a sponsor, what are you going to learn or what are you going to benefit? Number one is you improve your networking skills. And we all understand and believe that networking is very important these days. So by being a, by taking up the role of a sponsor, we improve our networking skills. Second thing is marketing skills. You start speaking about Toastmasters everywhere. In that process, you learn to speak about yourself everywhere. And you build your own brand. Project management. How to manage a project? Open, starting one club is a project. You start from scratch where it is zero. You find one person, two person and reach up to 17 people. And 17 is the minimum number where of new people where leadership skill. This is one of the important things. I become an entrepreneur only because I started a club. Otherwise, I would have never been an entrepreneur. Sense of satisfaction. Yes, when you, once you stand a club, you have that sense of satisfaction or happiness. Yes, I help so many people. I help chartering the, a club. I help district. I help this area. I help this division. Moreover, I help so many people. That is what you get for the benefits for a sponsor. When you look at the benefits of mentor, it's about project management. You learn the project management. It's about six months. Your role is for six months, you commit yourself. And it's a project for you to ensure that at the end of six months, club starts off. They learn all the strategies of club. Lack of uh, commitment and persistence. This is one of the best role to be taken. Why? Because you are committed to somebody else. You will do it. If we commit to ourselves, we make you excuse. Time management. Build your network. You, you are meeting a set of new people entirely. You build a network of 20 people who they are looking up to you. You become inspiration for others. You are a poor leader. 
knowledge about leadership roles how each and every role is essential and important you learn one important skill here is consultancy skill what do consultants do consultants help organizations to grow they have their own strategies they bring in strategies here when you become a mentor there are strategies which has to be involved into a new club to make it better bring it up so we learn that we learn team building skills again sense of satisfaction and happiness though it is written at the last but this is one of the best thing which happens in this process now who appoints a sponsor and a mentor right first and foremost it is you yourself who appoint we nominate ourselves as a sponsor if you want to be a sponsor you identify a lead if you want to be a mentor you nominate yourself and inform pqd and cgd to tell that i am interested tell your division director tell your area director i am interested to serve as mentor sponsor you may not get opportunity why because sponsor's opportunity goes to those people who brings in the lead but for everyone sitting in this room as an opportunity to be a mentor number 1 is to your your own nomination you are delegates cgd or pqd how many sponsors and mentors can be there there can be two sponsors for a new club and two mentors and we can have two sponsoring club also for the help so let's see what are the roles and responsibilities very specific role right now let me ask you who appoints please chat please chat who appoints the sponsor who appoints the mentor dd very good dd cgd very good cgd dd very good you we are putting we are putting all the blame on dd and cgd we are not nominating ourselves at all <laughs> first step is we need to nominate ourselves we should take up that voluntarily yes self pratiksha very good until and unless we don't come up club of us until and unless we don't come up saying that i wanted to do the role of mentor and sponsor so on sir nobody will appoint fine now let's understand very clearly what are the roles and responsibilities of sponsor and mentor i for a sponsor identify the lead for a new club number 1 number 2 is follow up with that lead number 2 is generate enthusiasm and interest in those people whom we are following up your follow up should follow up should not be a runaway system we should ensure that you create interest and enthusiasm then recruit members more members to that group you may be in starting with initially with two or three members speak those people bring in interest and recruit people to the group recruit mentors inform cgd pqd your division director area director that you need mentors for this group or if you are able to identify your own pen with whom you are can gel with work together then arrange demo meetings have membership forms filled during the demo meetings collect membership fee submit all the chartering documents there are around five chartering documents which goes to ta that's a area directors division directors will help you and support the club and mentor for next three months there is a specific role 1 2 3 4 5 6 7, what we say for sponsors when it comes to club mentors coordinate with the club sponsors understand who are the club sponsors and coordinate with them involve in arranging demo meeting with the club sponsor take the help of your district officer area director division director and your commitment is for next 6 months mentors when you take up this role please ensure that you are there with the club for the next 6 months there would be two mentors support the club excom on conducting meetings you are the one who will be helping club excom to conduct meetings 
you will be an inspiration for others share your experiences the club for the next 6 months and educate the excom to conduct quality meetings translate values to productive actions so anybody can idea give ideas right but how do you translate the valuable ideas into productive actions that makes the difference in a club educate on member retention and member building most of the time we we build a club we have those people after 6 months they are nowhere so it's the role of a mentor to educate them and ensure that they retain with the, they retain no now let's see what is the recognition you get when you do all those things one of the important thing is being a club sponsor and club mentor is very essential to your part towards distinguish toastmaster achievement right without this you cannot do otherwise you should do something else should be as club coach or uh, conduct a ylp or a speech craft program so one of the requirement for a distinguish toastmaster is to serve as club mentor or club coach the second is there are many district awards program quality awards cgd awards now let me ask you something did you understand anything about i am closing those presentation did you understand anything about your role now you all can open up the mic and speak did you understand anything about this role yes gilda can i ask you did you understand anything about the role of a club sponsor and mentor Yes. Yes, I did. Yes, thank you. Oh, uh, I, I, I became a club sponsor and a mentor without understanding the role. Today, I got clearer. <laughs> exactly. Super amazing. Most of the time, you we know? don't like that. <laughs> yeah. So I just became. I had a lead. I became. Yeah. So thank you so much. Anybody else? Uh, master or mentor always have a key role, key player. in any organization in any pro project and any everywhere even in you are in toast master there is a mentor may maybe you are sitting at this stage you are as a mentor or uh, at this moment uh, at this uh, program today superb anybody else ritu you want to share something or you yeah, want to ask i just uh, what i understood uh, from the whole yeah. presentation that uh, you need lot of coordination not only within the team but outside the team also to uh, you know bring the club in a shape with the whole team and you have to be involved throughout the process exactly involvement is a key here anybody else want to ask anything or speak something about this i have yeah, a question yeah uh, sir what uh, as you told that we have to conduct that demo meeting so how can we arrange the fund to conduct uh, that uh, demo meeting district will district ask to speak to district cgd your division directors they will allot certain budget that budgets can be used okay. or local arrangements can should be made to conduct a meeting so that's a different subject when you find a lead then district will be interested to come to you and help you out oh. you have a lead surely it will happen here is very good question so i want to suggest if there is any volunteer uh, you you have in the doa qatar a very nice place where a lot of the programs day every day at least one or two days there there if there is a volunteer community center Uh, that will be uh, uh, available for all the participants and all the events like this. Is it possible? Thank you. Thank you so much. Anybody else? Anybody else want to ask something? Say, I leave you with a quote. <laughs> Just a comment. Is it yeah, okay please. if I say please. something? As a mentor and as a sponsor, you're never alone. 
there are always people that could support you. And if you have any question, you could uh, ask the other mentor, ask the other sponsor, because there's always two sponsors and two mentors for every club. So you're never alone. You could uh, continue being a mentor and a sponsor. And if you have a lot of questions, you could always ask people who have done it before you. And they will be more than happy to guide you as well. Superb, amazing. Let's recap. We spoke something about sponsors. Experience, which has all the potential to transform one's career towards entrepreneurship and consultancy. These roles are a hidden treasure in Toastmasters for its members. I would thank the district for giving me the opportunity to do this presentation, CGD, PQD, district director, and all the audience sitting here. As the past district director, I would take this opportunity to invite you for a cup of coffee, themed coffee with the past district director and gain the maximum benefit of Toastmasters program. As I believe I'm the person who has gained maximum benefit from Toastmasters program, engaged to empower. Thank you so much for being wonderful audience and back to you, Master of Ceremonies, PQD. Thank you, thank you, <coughs> past district director, DTM Rajesh Vizzi. Can we have loud round of virtual cheers for our past district director for explaining us the how to be a sponsor and mentor and effectively do the role, role understand the roles and responsibilities. I'm sure the district is going to be now overpowered with wonderful volunteering sponsors and mentors. If you let me talk on this subject, I'll be going on and on because it's my favorite cup of both uh, topics are my favorite subjects. But we would like love to hear from the uh, doubts and the queries from our members as well as the feedback, whatever you all want to share. The floor is, of course, open to all of us and it will be handled by our, our cheerful district admin manager, the DTM, Rajni Nari. The virtual screen is all yours. Thank you, District Program Quality Director Mangai. Ladies and gentlemen, very good evening. We have a question for Toastmaster uh, Naila. The question is from Hissa. If the speaker does not complete the full speech by missing the conclusion or speaks for less than the minimum time or speaks over time, that means there's a time disqualification, does the VP education have the right not to confirm the project and ask the speaker to re-give the speech? Yes. Thank you. Thank you for that question. I think uh, this is something I've heard being discussed in many clubs, uh, not the exact same way. Like, what if the speaker has not met the objective? Uh, what do we do then? So here, my suggestion is, is uh, first, it's on the evaluator. When we give the evaluation, we can give it as a constructive feedback if possible, redo the speech. But this is if they have not met the objective. About the timing, uh, I don't, like personally, I don't feel uh, if you know you are time disqualified, you need to redo it. But the objective, if it is not met, please try and redo the project. Uh, as VP education, uh, I don't believe TI has given any power or rights to uh, deny the level completion. Uh, we do know the first core value in uh, Toastmasters is integrity. So as members, uh, I believe we should ask ourselves, have I done justice to this project? Have I gained the maximum by doing this project? Or uh, have I done it just for the sake of completing it and you know, getting that DCP or level completion? Because end of the day, we are all here to improve ourselves. So if we are not improving and we are just getting those points, I don't believe it makes sense. So I would say it's up to the speaker to take that decision whether to redo the project 
and uh, help themselves. Can I add a question Nila. for Toastmaster Naila? Yes. So basically, if you have seen that somebody has given a performance, given a speech, and we are encouraged as an evaluator to give a positive feedback, but you feel that the person did not accomplish the project. So can you tell us <clears throat> the that you did not and you have to redo it? Is it advisable? And if the level is a level five project, or should you just feel that you're discouraging the speaker and you don't say that and you just say, okay, this is what was good uh, and this is what was bad. That, that is the skill uh, as an evaluator that we do give the right feedback, but in a constructive manner. So I have done it. Uh, we don't have to outright say, you know, you have not met the project uh, objective, please go and redo the speech. No. So as an evaluator, that's our skill. How we mention this in a good way that uh, the speaker is not demotivated, but they feel more motivated to do it in a better manner. All right, okay. I have one more question for the past district director, Rajesh. Of course, on the topic of sponsors and mentors, I have noticed one thing in this district. There are a lot of new clubs that are constantly being chartered and everybody is focusing on getting their DTMs, getting a new club chartered, but in the run of this, in getting the their own medals or their own this thing, they fail to understand that the new clubs that are being chartered, either they don't have the proper team members to even like a simple mentorship, or sometimes they are just left and then they close down. Sometimes on the verge of the close down of a date, they ask members to just pull in, come back. So this is something which... I have seen a lot happening in this district. I don't know if this is a strategy in all the districts, but I've seen it a lot. And more than having the club progress and the members progress, they ultimately burn out. And they're members of two, three clubs or more than that, because for some reason, you know, they join in a club and then they feel, okay, they could join in a second club and then maybe a third is put onto them and a role is to be right. taken up and stuff like that. And this is very popular. I've seen it a lot around. So what can be the solution for this? I personally feel the number of clubs should be merged or reduced so that at least the experienced members are not sparse in each club. They at least have one-to-one. -one. So if there are 10 new members, there should be at least 10 experienced to take up the mentorship of the new members or at least five to take it up. Is there anything that you'd like to comment on this past? Actually, this is not a question. It's an opinion, right? So you have your own solution also for that. What should I say? <laughs> right? You have given your opinion on something and you have a solution for it also. But Try implementing it in your club and see how it works. Yeah, but the implementation comes from the top, right? So is there see, something I that... Uh, okay. Yeah, if I, I think, I, I think DTM, Rajesh Vizi is struck with that, some technical glitch. If I may answer uh, your uh, query uh, to Smaster Shannas, yes, like, uh, yeah, DTM Rajesh Vizi is back. Sir, would you like yeah, to answer that question or I can go ahead? Yeah, actually, if I, there is no answer for that question. It's an opinion. So every <coughs> everybody has their own opinion on certain things. So it is okay. We don't have to. I, I think that I don't have to answer that question. If a C PQD want to answer, you can take that question. <laughs> yes, Toastmaster Gilda, would you like to add something more? Yes, I will be answering that uh, in the end. Please, please go ahead, ma'am. Yes. This is my opinion. This is a great place to test our leadership, Toastmaster Shannes. Uh, some people feel only comfortable to be in one club and enhance their communication and leadership skills. Some feel they could expand and go into two clubs. And some think they could manage time and they really want to learn how to develop your leadership 
when you're under pressure, which is very important, and join more than two, three, four clubs, and they could manage. As long as you are able to manage, if I'm able to manage, then I'll do it. If I feel I can't, because this is where we are learning, this is the place we are learning our leadership and our communication skills. We can identify our limit. If I feel I cannot manage at some level, then I will step back and the choice is all mine. If I could proceed with helping, providing help, being a member in six, seven clubs, I know <clears throat> members were members in 11 clubs and they managed beautifully. This is the way they lead. So it's all personal choice. TI you, cannot, yes. cannot give us rules. It's us we could identify because it's our learning. Back to you. Thank you. Yes, one let's question. move on to the questions, please, uh, uh, DTM Rajna. One, Thank you. One, question, one minute. One question was asked about top leadership. Uh, for this, there is a specific answer. Uh, it's not an opinion. Why? Because uh, a, a leadership is in two ways. One is at a club level and it's at the district level. Club decides what... Uh, DTM Rajesh, we are losing your voice. Yeah. Go ahead with the next question. Can I question. move to the next question? Uh, the next yeah. question again goes to the trainer, Naila. <clears throat> question from Aditi. She asked, as a new Toastmaster... She wants to know which part of the pathways is payable and which is not. Uh, sorry, to... which part of the pathways? Is payable. Payable. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, DTM Disney. Uh, so I think I mentioned uh, when you are a new member, your first path is given to you for free. So one path, every member, get, member gets free. Every subsequent path, so if you go ahead with this, your second path, your third path, then for each path, you need to uh, pay $20. Now, when I say path, um, it's like, suppose you have already done, uh, let's say, motivational strategies, your first path. Now, you have completed it and done. Now, you want to go ahead with your second path, right, So to get those projects. So, again, you need to go through the same option, choose a path. Uh, all that options which I showed you today, and suppose you're going ahead with uh, effective coaching, uh, then as soon as you choose that path, you need to make that payment of $20. Only after this payment is done, you will get access to the different projects in that path. Until that payment is done, you will not get access. Now, there's something, uh, you know, we might say, we know what are the projects in each of those paths. We might have those evaluation forms, right? So we can go ahead and give those speeches and get the speeches evaluated. All that can be done, even if you have not purchased the path. But when you complete your, those levels, your level completions will not be recorded on the TI website. Your club is not going to get, you will not be recognized as, uh, you know, having completed that path or level, your club is not going to get those uh, any benefit. All, all those don't come in. These will come in only once you purchase the path, go through, through those uh, steps and do the level completions. So I hope uh, I'm clear with the answer. Back to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Naila. Uh, Toastmaster Raditi, hope that's clear. Uh, yes, yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, the next question as, again goes to Toastmaster uh, Naila. Please clarify again about the number of new or updated pathways. Uh, right now we have 11. It will be 6. So you, you can just go to the website for pathways updates and you will see. Right now you don't need to worry about it. It's just for your information. I have showed it to you. So as of now, it's 11 paths and you can go ahead with that. Thank you, Toastmaster Naila. Toastmaster Hisa, I hope uh, you got the answer. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, any more questions, ladies and gentlemen?
Okay. I think uh, all the members are clear about both the trainings and the formalities to become a sponsor and a mentor. And I'm sure they are all going to be good at uh, navigating pathways. Thank you so much to the trainers, Naila and uh, DTM Rajesh. Over to Program Quality Director. Uh, thank you once again, uh, DTM Rajni. Before I invite my brother for thanking note, let me once again thank all our wonderful attendees as well as uh, to uh, the other members who want to share their opinions. We will be soon having one session on sharing of opinions, a panel discussion. So that's the answer for Shanas. I wanted to share. Uh, over to you, my wonderful brother, our Club Growth Director, DTM, Sherwin Olimpo. Thank you, Distinguished Toastmaster, Alamir Mangai. And I would like to take this opportunity at this moment to express my gratitude also to Distinguished Toastmaster, Rajesh Bisi, for accepting the role as training, trainer. To, of course, to Distinguished Toastmaster Sabina, who still, I believe, is still online. To Distinguished Toastmaster Naila, this one. And to all other 67 participants uh, online who have attended this session. The insights uh, shared by our esteemed speakers, uh, Distinguished Toastmaster uh, Rizwan and Distinguished Toastmaster Rajesh, have been truly helpful. So, they have provided us with the knowledge, guidance uh, on navigating the pathways within the Toastmasters portal, as well as the roles and responsibilities of new club mentors and sponsors. This will help us, the district, in of course delivering the DCP point of goals on the, the first six uh, goals in our DCP program. Because I believe in the past term, most of our members, and even the officers, were not aware how to explore, uh, to go on this particular uh, pathways uh, crediting. And similarly, we have assigned mentors, sponsors previously that were not really aware on what are the details of the roles and responsibilities. And this program really, I will thank uh, Distinguished Toastmaster Gis, has provided the very bottom of it. So this uh, training is similar to, maybe uh, it, can, it could bring uh, our district on a better position in supporting our clubs and members to achieve excellence. So I, I encourage each and everyone to take this learning and then put them into practice. Okay, so immediately, if you're free, today so just explore the pathways. And of course, for those who are aspiring to be mentors and sponsors, this is your opportunity. You already have the knowledge you have acquired through this training, put them into practice. Because remember, knowledge is power but only when it is applied with intention and purpose. It is the purpose we already have that intended uh, result. So by putting this knowledge into action, you will not only empower yourselves, but also our fellow members, our fellow postmasters. Thank you once again for your participation. To the 67, I, I only noticed 67 in the maximum for these incredible achievements from the insights gained here today. And good evening. And hereby declare. So the head close, right? Yeah, I and should. And we have a good photo. Training session adjourned. Thank you very much. Uh, let's have a group photo together. All of you who are comfortable, please switch on your uh, cameras and wonderful smiles on the face. I guess our uh, IT manager is doing the honors. <laughs> okay, we do have uh, some.
camera has to be open still. Yeah. There it goes, Aditi. And. Friends, you can put your tears for our wonderful pres presenters. Yeah, your hearts. There it goes. Done. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. We can stop the recording and...